I'm happy to have some time right now with Rosalie Peterson. And thank you very much for spending a thank couple you. of minutes. Um, I know that you and your husband have known Fred um, yes. for a while mm -hmm. and uh, have experienced some of the different educational events and the products and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And um, I know that you've been a really big part, you and your husband, um, you know, in his medical practice of um, just being really committed to serving you know, your clients and your customers, and maybe you could just share um, just a little bit about um, why you have incorporated some of eWater's products in serving your own personal um, clients. I mean, what do you think okay. that they have done that's been beneficial? Okay. Um, we met Fred in 1997, mm -hmm. and I know that my husband's already mentioned that we got a shower filter mm -hmm. and tried that. And when I was sitting around the table as Fred was talking at a meeting in Chicago, a woman said, but I don't like to take showers. Why would I buy a shower filter? And I am accustomed to keeping my mouth shut around medical personnel because I don't have a medical background. Right. And it's running through my brain. Good grief, if you want to take a bath, fill your bathtub with a shower filter. Right. I didn't go to medical school. I didn't don't know what Fred knows. I know that. Right. And the shower filter really helped my skin clear up. Mm -hmm. um, I've always had longer hair and it keeps it, it doesn't tangle. Mm -hmm. And then through Fred, we also found out because I had the chlorine, like a sensitivity to my skin, I also never drank water. I always was drinking Dr. Peppers. And Fred suggested um, a water, an RO unit. Mm -hmm. And I'm going, I can't drink water. It makes my throat shut, close up, and it makes my lips swell up. And Fred said, you need to try this RO unit. And I did. And now we have, both of our daughters have RO units in their homes, and we have the RO unit. And we don't drink tap water right. because of the chlorine and the other chemicals that which are in it. Which is what you were sensitive to, which is right. one of the reasons why it was probably affecting which your makes, throat. Which makes sense. Makes total sense. Yeah. And for people who don't know what RO is, that means reverse osmosis. I'm sorry, thank you. No, it's okay. But um, uh, and, and so now you're drinking more water, which yes, of course and, is healthier right. for you than the soda. And I'm guilty of that as well. You well know? And we have five granddaughters, mm -hmm. 13 to 2. And that's their main beverage it's is water. Soda. Oh, water. Okay. Yeah, they're not allowed sodas okay. anyway. And we don't usually do dairy, mm -hmm. which will probably be cut out. Right. But we do water. Mm -hmm. And we took one of our granddaughters out for dinner to a Chinese place. Mm -hmm. And the waitress said, what would you have? And our granddaughter's a vegetarian. Mm -hmm. She's 10. And she said, the waitress said, well, so you won't want vegetables with that. And she said, yes, I want the vegetables. And then the waitress said, what would you like to drink? And she said, water. And she said, oh, you're out with grandpa and grandma. You can have anything you want. I want water because they're not accustomed to it. Yeah, and wonderful. they've all got good skin. Right. Yeah. Right. Water's good for you. Um, and, and, you know, there's other products that um, I know that you've had some experience with with eWater. Maybe you can just talk a little bit about okay. some of the other things that they provide okay. that you feel good about. We have the um, Whole House Harmony Cube right. at this point. And we really like it because we know, we can tell, we try to test people in our home. Mm -hmm. And all of our foods have been harmonized and don't have the negative aspects that you can get from your foods and those i sell in our in our office mm -hmm. and we do um the e-bug for phones which is very easy to show people how it works right, the and little I, dot that the little dot phone. and if you ask people does your ear get hot mm -hmm. when you're on your cell phone and almost everybody says yes right. what is that doing Right. So they understand that. I don't understand the mechanisms to tell people. I can only show them how they work. Right. And the same thing with the EP2, which is a pendant. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just when they can see it, and especially since 
I would say at least 90% of us have personal computers, iPads or cell phones mm -hmm. that you can show them and demonstrate to them how it works and what they can do. That's wonderful. And, you know, is the, um, I don't know if you know this, but do you recommend that for children in any way? I mean, if your child's going to be on an iPad, yes, you should have one of the E dots that sticks on. On the iPad. On the iPad. Wow. Well, and it will work on the iPad the same yes. as on a phone. Yes. Wow. That's incredible to know. I didn't right. know that. So right. that's, that's wonderful to know. And you also need to restrict your children, I personally think, mm -hmm. from computer use as much as possible. They don't well, need to be on it every day. And here's, here's the thing. The school system now is mm -hmm. upgrading their classrooms right. with computers. And even right now, my son... Um, when they do their, their reading, mm -hmm. they are reading the books on the computers and then they take a little right. test on the computer. Right. So that's challenging because the technology has changed and the school yeah. system is using. So when you say you should restrict them, I mean, uh, like if they're at home, they don't need to be doing this. I right. understand the school, right. but they can also have the EP2 pendant. Okay. You know, even boys, they can wear it under their shirt. Right. Girls wear it under their shirts. And that's good for people to know that they can consult about, you know, mm -hmm. whether it's, you know, safe for them to wear it at a right. certain age or whatever the case may be. So, um, again, you uh, also, you and your husband, I say, have known Fred for a while now, yes. for quite a few years. Yes. And maybe you can just share, you know, just your personal experience of, you know, just him as a professional and as a person who you've known for a while, for okay. people who don't know him. Okay. I first met him, and he was very dynamic, and he was one of the speakers at the meeting. And we, when we bought the shower filter, and I couldn't figure out why it didn't, why the water didn't hurt my skin. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I called, and he'll talk to you. He'll answer your questions on, like, why is this happening? What else should I be doing? And even today, we have um, a client who has bought some product, and she asked me some questions I hadn't heard before. Mm -hmm. I can ask. Right. And he's always, you know, just giving me the answers that I needed to tell her and that I understood. Right. Because he'll say, now, okay, you didn't understand that. Let me try this. Right. Yeah. So he, he takes the time to. He does. And I, yeah. And I, I've heard so many people share that, that, you know, he's still so personally involved, even though right. he has an entire staff of people, right. you know, and a huge company to run, that he's still so passionate about being personally involved with yes. his clients. Maybe you could just share, because I know that it, it must be a wonderful experience for you to watch, um, you know, clients and customers come in. Um, to your office in one state of mind right. and then go out feeling differently. Like what, what have you right. observed? Um, For some reason, we seem to draw chronically ill people, people that have been to 20 doctors are on 14 medications and they come into the office and they're kind of sitting in the chair and within a minute they're already slouched down and sagging because they're just spent. Right. And they'll go in and see Dale. And a lot of times I need to assist him, which is great. I love doing that. But they'll come out and they'll be smiling. When they went in, they were cranky. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry to any patients out there. They're, they were cranky. Well, people are cranky when they're not feeling well. They feel obviously. awful. Yeah. And they'll come out, they'll smile, they'll ask how we are doing, mm. you know, and... It's great to just see that. And some of them, you'll see them walk in for one complaint. And by the time he's done with his examination mm -hmm. and corrections, they come back out and I'll say, oh, did you ask him? I mean, I want to make sure that they've asked all their questions that they were telling me right. in the reception area. Right. And did you ask him the question about? Correct. And they'll say, Oh, I forgot, but wait a minute. It's not there anymore. See, and that's what's fun. Yeah. That's that what's neat. Must be very rewarding. It is. Thanks. Yeah. All right. It does. Well, I really appreciate, you. you know, you taking the time to share, mm -hmm. you know, your personal experience and, you know, and what you feel, um, you know, is provided for people to feel better, look yep. better, and just have a better quality of life. So thank you. Thank you, Rosalie. Thank you so You're much. You're welcome. Thank you.